The Federal High Court in Abuja accepted a plea bargain that allowed Mr. Yusuf Yakubu to pay back less than the 23.3 billion naira he stole from the police pension fund. Many felt outraged. But the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, is coming to the rescue by rearranging the former assistant director at the pensions office on a fresh four-count charge. According to court documents, Mr. Yakubu is now charged for failing to declare his interest in Sai A Global Services Limited, a company solely owned by him and members of his family. The second charge reads that Mr. Yakubu did not declare the sum of 250 million naira lodged in a fixed deposit in the name of the same company with a commercial bank. He is also accused of failing to declare another 10 million naira lodged in a separate commercial bank in the name of the said company. According to the fourth charge, Mr. Yakubu used a surrogate, one Mr. Danjuma Gili, to fix the sum of 25 million naira in a fixed deposit account. Following his plea, the EFCC asked the court to remand the accused in prison custody and set a date for trial. Presiding Judge Justice Adamu Belu obliged the EFCC's application and remanded the accused in prison custody despite an appeal by his counsel for him to remain in EFCC custody. Justice Bello also set trial for the 4th of March 2013. He, however, allowed the defense to appear before the court before the trial date to make an application for bail. Mr. Yakubu was on the 28th of January sentenced to six years imprisonment or an option of paying 750,000 naira after pleading guilty to three count charges of criminal conversion of the police pension fund for personal use. At the rearrangement of Mr. Yakubu, Mr. Rotimi Jacobs said the decision of the judge was not in tandem with the plea bargain arrangement which the EFCC had intimated the judge about. The defense counsel, however, disagrees. It was unreasonable, it was unheard of, it has, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the value system of the, of the nation has gone down. For any man to think that that is reasonable in the circumstance shows that uh, we, have gone, we have gone back to the era of, um, of unreasonableness. It was when he got the approval, the agreement of the accused persons to the fact that there will be a custodial sentence and there will be forfeiture of assets, entire asset taken by the accused that we allow us to proceed. We sought the permission of the relevant people, the Attorney General, the Chairman of EFCC, and they approve it. We communicated this to, to his lordship. But to our greater surprise, with um, a great, even if it was not communicated, with nobody expected that kind of reasoning. So, and uh, we are here to enforce the agreement. So I'm not aware of um, the arrangement for a custodial censor. No, I, I, I'm not aware of that. I'm not aware of that. Okay, yeah. you, you said you were going to... But um, uh, what I know about is the fact that um, my client is um, being arraigned for charges on the non-declaration of assets. Um, and I want to presume that you are inferring they're being brought back to the matter that um, took place the day before yesterday. I want to say very clearly and categorically to you that um, these matters are unconnected for now.